this is Sean Terry from Flip to Freedom, and I'd like to welcome you to our first video blog episode. And today we're going to discuss um, internet marketing in depth. All right. Now, internet marketing is a great form because once you set it up, it literally can just generate leads while you're sleeping. There are some mornings I wake up and I have three, five, ten leads that are sitting there, and I have all the information from the name. Uh, their email address, their telephone number, the property address, the property square footage, and how much they owe on the property. With that information, I can find out exactly um, what uh, the property is worth. I can find out if it is, is a short sale. I can find out um, if I could do a wrap on it. I could find out if it's a great wholesale deal. Um, but when you're doing internet marketing, the, the goal is to have the correct sites set up uh, and then drive traffic to those sites. Now, there's free methods um, like uh, Craigslist. You can put information on Craigslist. YouTube is great. Uh, doing a video just like this and sticking up on uh, YouTube as a commercial um, with a link in there driving traffic to your site is great. Um, but probably the best and the most fastest way to get traffic to your site, um, targeted traffic to your site, is through either Google AdWords, Yahoo Search Marketing, or MSN Ad Center. Now, let's talk about Google. Google is great because it's the largest search engine on the planet. Now, when a person goes to sell their property, a lot of times they start online. And they'll search uh, in terms like, we buy ugly houses, or um, we buy houses, uh, and they'll put the city, like we buy houses Phoenix, or we buy houses um, Pittsburgh. Um, or they'll put in sell house fast or sell house foreclosure. Those are all search terms that people put in the search box. And what happens is they're going to put in a, the search term, click uh, search, and then there's going to be a, a results to show up. Now, typically on the top up there will be what's called sponsored search. It's in a, like a light yellow. And those are paid search items. And then on the right hand side, uh, of, of your search results will be um, more paid and there's typically about eight to nine uh, spots on there that people uh, can actually pay for those spots now obviously the higher up you are the more it's going to cost per click um, and the lower down you are obviously less it's going to be but anyways so under those are going to be what's called organic search results uh, those are free and um, it takes search engine optimization to be able to rank up in those, um, the, the, those free for those particular search for words that you want to target on. Now, using Google AdWords, um, you can bid on a specific keyword. And you can say, I'm going to pay $11 a click for the word, we buy houses, Phoenix. Or we buy houses, uh, Toronto, whatever, not Toronto, but uh, San Diego. So you can bid on those specific keywords, and what happens is an ad's going to pop up. It's going to say, we buy houses San Diego, and then there's going to be a, a brief description. We buy houses fast in San Diego cash. Call now. Um, or uh, click here, whatever. And then they're going to be able to click on the ad, and as soon as they click on the ad, they're going to land on what's called a squeeze page. Now, a squeeze page is um, a page where um, it, it, there's no navigation bars, um, there's basically just one thing you're looking for uh, a person uh, that lands on the page to do. It's a, you're, you're just looking for them to fill out a form um, on the page. And that is, is just like we talked about. You're asking for the name, email, telephone number, um, property address, property square footage, and loan amount. And click send. So when when what we do is when we have uh, when someone's lands on the page, if if the keyword is we buy houses, and they click on that keyword, it goes to a, a website uh, that says we buy houses in 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 San Diego per se, um, and then it says right at the top, it's a headline: we buy houses San Diego fast for cash. And then there's little information. And what we do is on our site, we give away a free ebook explaining exactly about our company, what our process is. And we actually give them three different options um, or show them the three different methods of selling their house, either via a realtor or uh, for sale by owner, or they could sell to an investor uh, like us. So it gives them a lot of good content. It gives them information on um, about our company, about who we are. 
um, and it just it builds credibility. So someone, when they hit the website, and right, and right now we have a video on the website, and it's actually a video testimonial uh, of me interviewing a lady um, who actually purchased her house. And, and it was it's a great story because uh, literally a lead hit my uh, iPhone. I called her immediately. She happened to be not more than like, I think, five to seven minutes away. I just got out of a meeting. I had time. I ran over the house. Um, I literally had some contracts and I had some uh, paperwork with me already because uh, I was prepared. Went over to the house, sat down, walked the house, did a contract, and within literally within 30 minutes from her hitting our website, filling out the form, I was at her house and making an offer. We wrote up a contract and we purchased it, purchased it and closed within uh, roughly about three weeks. And she got a good check. Um, so we have that video testimonial. It's about a five to seven minute video. It's on there, but it's great. I'm asking her questions and it pretty much covers all the, the aspects of questions that people have um, about selling their house. It's a great video and it converts like crazy. Converting being that when someone hits the web page and they really want to sell their house, um, then they'll fill out that information to get the free report uh, so we can have uh, the ability to call them. That's why I love internet marketing. So what we do, um, and our Google AdWords accounts um, that we have, we can you can put a daily budget. Um, you're probably wondering, well, you know, uh, you know, do, you, know you've, you might have heard people, you know, can blow through a lot of money on Google AdWords. Well, that can happen. Um, but what is great about Google is you can geotarget down to a specific location, down to say San Diego per se, or or, or Phoenix, and you can say, okay. Um, you can actually take out mobile devices. So um, anybody that has a mobile device, we don't want to target those. So if they have an iPad or if they have an iPhone or if they have an Android or something like that, I don't want them to be able to see our website and be able to click or be able to see the ads that we have and be able to click on an ad to go to our, to our website. First off, they won't be able to see the video. And second off, if they really want to sell their house, you know, and they're in a desperate situation to sell their house, um, or in a distressed situation. A lot of them don't have iPad. A lot of people in that situation do not have iPads, iPhones, or, or uh, Androids, uh, higher end phones. Um, so, I don't target those, but we target a geographic, and you can pick the cities of where you want your ads to show. Now, how does Google do this? Well, they do this through um, IP address. You know, each computer has an IP address, and Google can know um, basically like an address of exactly where uh, they want to show your ads. They can do it in um, San Diego. They can do it, you know, any parts of you know Coronado. They can do it in um, uh, Oceanside or something like that, or San Clemente, or they can whatever the case. They, each city has a specific IP address, and uh, and which is a computer uh, or um, internet address, and they you can target those specific areas, which is great which basically targets just for people in your specific target market that put in those keywords and hit your website will fill out the information and it'll automatically generate a lead and you'll get an email with all that information across your phone and you can call them immediately um, then what we do is now what, what, how Google, like we're talking about Google and, and basically you know geo targeting and IP addresses and stuff like that but um, one thing other great about is great about Google is that um, you can know specifically what keyword will convert to an action. What keyword resulted in them filling out a form? So you know, so if someone puts in "We buy houses" and they fill out the form, it'll show up as a conversion. If you have the right code in your website, HTML code, it'll show up as a conversion um, in your little conversion box there. Um, or or the, the the detail on your um, on your on your on your dashboard there for uh, Google AdWords, um, so you you can understand which keywords are actually converting into leads and which keywords aren't. Now, if you have a keyword like um, "sell fast foreclosure," and you get ten clicks, fifteen clicks, twenty clicks on that specific keyword, and it's not converting to an action, well, you can get rid of that keyword. And you can only focus strictly on the words that convert. And then what you do is see what happens.